morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome to the board's report. Well, today we're taking a look at the budget with the budget for fiscal 2021 into 2022, going to be read next week, Monday on October 4th, uh, 2021. So it has been a very rocky ride for the country from a revenue perspective, and that's what we're going to take a look at today, the revenue side of the budget equation. How would the country have fared thus far uh, based on the available data and what can investors and citizens in general expect for the upcoming fiscal period from the revenue perspective. So let's turn very quickly to some of our graphics. And the big question, of course, is will revenue meet expectations? Now, investors and just general citizens, of course, would recall that for the fiscal 2020-2021 period, total revenues for the country were budgeted at just around $41.4 billion in that green column. Uh, which would have represent or which would represent if achieved a fairly significant increase from the 34.1 billion uh, recorded in the fiscal 2020 period which was of course significantly affected by COVID-19. The good news is um, in terms of that up-to-date uh, information that we have total revenues for the nine months of fiscal 2021 or the soon to be concluded budgetary period was around $25.9 billion, which compares to our just around $25 billion for the prior comparable period, that is the fiscal 2020 period. What does that mean? Well, it basically means that we are pretty much on par, if just marginally ahead of the fiscal 2020 performance. So no deterioration, at least at this point in terms of the data available. However, it does mean that we are pretty much in line barring some very special performance in the final fiscal quarter of fiscal 2021, we are pretty much in line to achieve just around that 54 to $55 billion level on a prorated basis. Now, energy revenues would have actually declined over uh, the comparable periods in that green sliver from 5.9 billion to just around 5.5 billion, and that's energy revenues as mentioned. The good news is that somewhat surprisingly, non-energy revenues actually improved over the comparable periods from 18.7 billion to just around $20 billion. And again, I just want to stress that that is the nine month uh, comparable periods, not the full fiscal year, of course, for which data is not available, but we sure will be made available uh, next week, Monday. Yeah. Now, from the energy perspective, investors might be asking, well, how come energy revenues will lower in a higher energy price environment with significant uh, increases in price for crude oil as well as natural gas? Well, the answer lies, of course, in terms of production. Now, on the crude oil front, uh, there was some very welcome news that the average price of West Texas Intermediate crude oil was just around $54 a barrel for that October to May 2021 period, which represents eight months of available data, uh, which of course is above the budgeted price of crude oil of just around $45 per barrel. On the production front, however, production was actually fairly stable, if not marginally higher, um, in, on the domestic energy front, with production increasing from 57.6 thousand barrels per day uh, on average for the October to May 2020 period to October to May 2021, increasing just marginally again by about 0.5% or so to 57,900 barrels per day. The natural gas uh, production front was a less uh, glamorous story, of course, and it uh, does make up a bigger part of our energy revenue basket. Production actually declined some 23 odd percent for those comparable periods, again, October to May 2020 versus 2021, falling from just around 3.4 billion standard cubic feet per day to its uh, the level of 2.6 billion standard cubic feet per day. In terms of pricing, average prices based on Henry Hub prices have actually been just marginally below the budgeted price of $3 per MMBTU uh, in that blue line there. Uh, it's been averaging at just around $2.83 per MMBTU. So that would attribute, would be attributable or be one of the contributing factors to lower than expected energy revenues thus far for the fiscal period, which is about to conclude, uh, or which would have concluded uh, this week. Now, in terms of revenue drivers for fiscal 2022, well, energy, high energy prices, of course, is going to help uh, over the course of fiscal 2022 if they stay up where they currently are. Energy production is forecasted to or forecast to improve, uh, but, but in particular with the EPTT's Matapal project coming on stream or delivering first gas, as well as BHP's Ruby Field coming on stream as well earlier this year. 
and some other projects carded for 2022 production expected to come on stream, uh, of course, in the upcoming fiscal year. Non-energy revenues with the reopening of the economy gradually uh, and increased vaccination and that mantra, of course, of vaccine to operate coming into effect. Non-energy revenue should improve again. That should be taken with a pinch of salt given that domestic economic activity still remains relatively subdued. In terms of specific revenue initiatives for the upcoming fiscal 2022 period, well, asset sales certainly seems on the card, fuel market liberalization, which would have been mentioned in the Honorable Minister of Finance's last budget speech, of, um, uh, would, would not have been completed as yet, but certainly would be in the woods, as would be the case of the privatization of the Port of Port of Spain. And one of the more relatively new developments would have been the approved merger between TTMF and the Home Mortgage Bank, and that has been on the cards for several years, and I'm speaking specifically about uh, initial public offering or a divestment of a merged TTMF HMB entity. When will that be? Well, only time will tell, but of course that approval of the merger between the two entities certainly takes us one step closer to this initiative becoming a reality. Of course, on the taxation side, the, the Trinidad and Tobago Revenue Authority uh, is one of those initiatives that is expected to increase tax collections for the state so some recurrent revenue there as well as the implementation of the property tax which has been in the pipeline for some time now but seems to be coming closer and closer to fruition so on the revenue side of things of the budget equation there seems to be some improvement uh, on the horizon uh, whether it be through taxation or increased taxation or increased energy production or uh, asset sales and of course, we, next week we'll talk about uh, the expenditure side of the budget equation uh, on the day, of course, of the budget, which will be read uh, next week, Monday at 1.30 1 p.m. by the Honorable Minister of Finance. But that's it for this week's edition. For more information, you can give us a call at 226-8773 or to boss, email us at invest at bossfinancial.com or check out our website at bossinvestment.com. And of course, you can catch our article in today's business section of the Bigger Better Trinidad Guardian. Stay safe, vaccinate, and see you next week on The Bosch Report.